okay dear engineering students uh, and your and the students aspiring to seat for get 2021 in mechanical engineering uh, uh, let us move on to engineering mechanics and solve another good numerical uh, that is uh, uh, problem set 2 uh, uh, this is the problem of problem set 2.1 solution to 2.11 uh, by doing this uh, you will be very comfortable how to resolve a vector into two components a given vector in any direction how to break it into two components right so actually uh, very nicely presented by professor d h young uh, Professor S. Timosenko, Director J. V. Rao, and Sukumar Pati uh, in the book called Engineering Mechanics, Tata Macro Hill Publication, uh, 5th edition. So, uh, so let me begin. Uh, uh, the statement of the problem is like this, very simple. Uh, resolve the force into rectangular components. A rectangular components means uh, uh, if this is one component and another component is like this then you and the angle is 90 then you say these two components are rectangular one can be like this the other can be like this one can be like this the other can be like this uh, uh, one can be like this from this point the other will be into the plane of the paper means whenever the angle between the two components is 90 then you say the two components are rectangular components uh, actually there are four diagrams a b a c c and d uh, in all the four diagrams here here as here as well as here there is a given force uh, at some orientation at some direction uh, and the axis uh, have been uh, presented very nicely to test your uh, ability to split the given vector into to find out your ability to split the vector into two rectangular components uh, now look uh, in the first one first one this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis when I say x-axis from this point from this point onwards is positive x-axis and from this point downwards is negative x-axis. So this, this is your y-axis, positive y-axis. To this side, there is no line drawn. So to this side is your negative y-axis. Similarly, in the second diagram figure, this side is positive x-axis. From this point upward is your negative x-axis. And this is your positive y-axis. So this will be your negative y-axis. Means only the positive x-axis and positive y-axis are shown dotted lines. Then you have to imagine uh, where is the negative x-axis and negative y-axis. Similarly here in the third one, a uh, third one from this point to this side is positive x-axis. From this point to this side is positive y-axis. Similarly, in the fourth one, from this point to right hand side, horizontally is your positive x-axis from this point vertically upward, not vertically upward, in this direction, it, you, this direction is your positive y-axis. So, in this case, the negative y-axis is to this side, the negative y-axis is to this side. Similarly, in this case, the negative x-axis is to this side, the negative y-axis is to this side. Now, in all the four cases, a force is given look here is a force making an angle alpha uh, here is a force f making an alpha here with positive y axis this alpha is also with positive y axis here ah uh, this is slightly tricky not very tricky this is the force this angle is given is alpha here uh, uh, this is your x axis this is your force this angle is alpha probably forget something okay uh, uh, then this angle is beta it is given uh, this is your force this angle is beta this is given this is given in the question and in all the four cases 
in this case, in the first case, case A, case B, and in the uh, diagram in the case C and case D, we have to resolve this force, this force here, this force here, and this force here into rectangular components means components along x-axis and y-axis so let us begin with uh, the first one so i have redrawn this uh, diagram i have redrawn this diagram in the solution uh, here 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 this diagram is same thing as this diagram let us break the break this force split this force into two components so Oh, now look, uh, uh, this is your force. This angle is given as alpha. This is positive x-axis, this is positive y-axis. So considering this F from 0 to C represented as F and this angle is alpha, considering this force, this force to this side as the diagonal of a parallelogram, uh, then the parallelogram, then the parallelogram should be like this. From this point, I draw a perpendicular on y-axis. From this point, I draw a perpendicular on x-axis. So, so, so this one, from O to B, this, which is same thing as from A to C, will be one component. And from O to A, O to A, A will be another component of this force F along y-axis. So this component will be positive and this component because it is along negative x-axis so this will be negative. So in this triangle O, C, A if you take a cos alpha it will be O, A over the hypotenuse and if you cross multiply you get O, A is equal to F cos alpha O, A that is same thing as OC is your F cos alpha that is the Y component of the force F. Now in this triangle, in this triangle if you take sin alpha it will be a perpendicular over hypotenuse that is AC over OC. OC is given as F and if you cross multiply you get AC that is same thing as OB that will be minus f sin alpha because it is to the neg it is along the negative x axis therefore a minus sign is used so this is your x component this is your y component right then coming back to the second one the second one in the question here positive y axis positive x axis this is the force f this angle is alpha let us find the components of f rectangular components not components rectangular components of f so I have redrawn the diagram again for you here while solving. This is your positive y-axis, this is your positive x-axis, this is your force. So considering this OC which is given as F making an angle alpha with positive y-axis. From here I drop a perpendicular on positive x-axis. From here I draw a perpendicular on positive y-axis. Therefore in this parallelogram in this parallelogram this is the diagonal the resultant f therefore this is one component and this is another component o a is one component o b is another component since this angle is alpha so this will be f cos alpha so your o a is your f cos alpha always remember while finding the rectangular components uh, the side in front of the angle will always come in sign in sign form and the other one will always come in uh, come will always arrive at in cos form so here if you take sin alpha this will be this perpendicular by this hypotenuse this perpendicular is same thing as ob so ob over hypotenuse which is equal to f so if you cross multiply you get ob is equal to f sin alpha both are positive because this OA is along positive y-axis. This OB is along positive x-axis. Therefore, both are positive. Now, then coming back to the third one. Hmm. The third one. The, the third one. 
positive x axis positive y axis this is the force f this angle is alpha let us find the components of this force rectangular components of this force f not components rectangular components so i have redrawn the diagram for you again here i have redrawn it uh, positive x axis positive y axis this was your f this angle was given as alpha very interesting if this is alpha then this will be 180 minus alpha because this is a straight line this total angle has to be 180 degree. So, if from this from this point to this point through this angle, if this angle is alpha, the remaining angle will be 180 minus alpha. Now, now look, this is the force F given. So, to find the rectangular components from this point, I draw a perpendicular on Y axis. And <clears throat> from this point, I draw a perpendicular. If you extend this line, if you extend this line, it will be perpendicular to your x. If you extend this line, it will be perpendicular to x axis. So, OB is one component, OA is another component. Now, this angle we have found it as 180 minus alpha. This line is parallel to y axis. So, if this angle is 180 minus alpha, this angle is also 180 minus alpha. So, so uh, the two components of the force F, one component is this OA, the other component is this and the angle between this component and this component is 90 degree, therefore they are rectangular components. And if you look at the triangle OAC, this angle we have found out as 100, 180 minus alpha. So, if you take cos of this angle, it will be OA over OC, that is OA over F. And if you cross multiply, it will be OA is equal to F cos 180 minus alpha. Means the side adjacent to the angle will always come in terms of cos, cos function. The force, the hypotenuse times cos of that angle and cos of 180 minus alpha is minus cos alpha. So, this component OA is minus F cos alpha. OA is minus, minus F cos alpha. Means <coughs> positive y axis is this way and this one, this one is opposite to the positive y axis. Therefore, it is minus f cos alpha that is what the meaning so that is the y component now uh, this is the side this is the side in front of this angle so i just explained the side in front of the angle will be hypotenuse times the sine of this angle so so if you take sine alpha sine of this angle sine of this angle sine 180 minus alpha will be perpendicular that is ac over hypotenuse that is F and if you cross multiply you get AC that is same thing as OB as F sin 180 minus alpha sin 180 minus alpha is sin alpha and this thing is positive therefore it is along positive x axis look so your OB your OB is is in the direction of a positive x axis or you can shift this force you can shift this force uh, like this you can shift it like this and then find the components then find the components right so this will be same thing as OA this will be same thing as OB fine so now let us go to the last one uh, the last one uh, that is uh, this one this one positive x axis positive y axis uh, here is a line uh, and this is the force and this uh, with this line uh, this line makes an angle alpha with x axis and this is the force we have to resolve this force into two rectangular components means its component along x axis and its component along y axis so i have redrawn it in the solution i have redrawn it in the solution now look here uh, this is your x axis this is your y axis this angle was alpha as given in the question uh, <coughs> this is your force from o to c is your force f and uh, this angle was given as beta in the question 
Now look, uh, now look at this line. Look at this line and this x-axis. So, means, uh, let me explain like this. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, this angle is alpha, this angle is beta. So, this angle, this angle will be also uh, alpha. Now, <coughs> now I have to break this force F into two rectangular components. One component is OB, one component is OA. One component is OA. Since this line, which is along x-axis, therefore line OB, the component of the force F, is this one OB is parallel to x axis. So if this angle is alpha, there is a line here. Here is a parallel line parallel to this. So if this angle is alpha, then this angle will also be alpha. So this angle is alpha given this angle is beta. Therefore, this much, this much angle will be alpha minus beta. This much angle will be alpha minus beta. So here we have a force. We have a force F, we have a force, I am redrawing for your convenience, we have a force F, F, which is making an angle alpha minus beta with the horizontal, with the horizontal. Therefore, therefore, this component will be F of cos alpha minus beta and this component. That is same thing as this will be f of sine alpha minus beta. So, and this is along positive x axis and this is along positive y axis. Therefore, both are positive. So, your OB, OB, that is this one. That is same thing as this one. Now, this point is C. Is your f times cos alpha minus beta, that is the x component, it is positive because it is along positive x axis, OA, from O to A, uh, is will be your F sin alpha minus beta, it is along positive y axis, therefore is the y component. So I, I think you, you are clear about how to split a given vector into two rectangular components when there are, very, when there are different orientations of the axis. It will be very useful for you. Uh, okay, thank you.